Hi, I'm Chris Cardona, and welcome to our walking tour here on board Holland America Line's brand new Rotterdam, coming up on Talking Cruise. Okay, we're going to start our walking tour of Rotterdam here on Deck 1 Midship. Uh, deck 1 is the lower level of the atrium. As you can see, it does span uh, 1, 2, and 3 up there. Uh, there's not a whole lot here on uh, Deck 1. There is the Internet Center, so if you're looking to uh, get online, if you don't have a device and you want to maybe print some items, you can actually come in here. And then just off the uh, atrium area, there are some uh, rooms that are uh, able to be booked. Uh, so if you have a, like a convention or a special occasion, you can rent out these rooms here. Um, I don't think they're open right now, but there's a little bit of a, of a shot. It's really this conference space. And then of course there are guest state rooms as well on this deck. All right, so we're gonna proceed back into the atrium and then we'll head up to uh, deck number two. Here we go. So we are on deck two forward and we're heading into the World Stage Theater. This is the main theater on board the ship for different types of performances. Uh, last night there was a really nice show about the history of Holland America, 150 years of history. And I really like these theaters on these Pinnacle class ships. Um, first of all, I like the fact that it's circular. There really are not any bad sight lines in this entire theater. And uh, the stage actually comes out into the audience. So when there's a show going on, you really feel like you're part of it. As well, all across the wall, I'd say about three quarters all the way back, are these uh, giant LED panels. And they just really en encapsulate and circle uh, the entire audience with a more immersive uh, sensory uh, kind of experience and uh, it, a lot of that comes into play with a lot of the different shows that they have. We are now going to head uh, deck two towards the aft and this next area that we're going to go through is called Music Alley and there's actually different venues on both sides. This is billboard on board and uh, you have a really uh, great opportunity to hear two pianists and they go head to head in kind of a dueling pianos. the bar at billboard on board and then one of my personal favorite areas on the other side is the rolling stone rock room they have a, a house band that plays incredible music Because these two spaces are directly across from each other, you would think that they might compete uh, because it does get quite loud in here. But what they do is they actually have preset times. So they'll do a set over here at Billboard on board, and then shortly after they'll start another set at the Rolling Stone Rock Room and then go back and forth uh, throughout the evening. Just forward of the Rolling Stone Rock Room on deck number two, we have the ship's library. This is hands down the most beautiful looking library I've seen on board a cruise ship. Definitely a lot of uh, effort went into making this as nice as it is. Very organized uh, by genre. Uh, several copies of each of the books and some very uh, popular and current titles that are 
very uh, in demand right now. Much different than the other libraries I've seen on the many ships I've been on. They even have a pretty decent young adult section here. And they make it very easy to return your books with this convenient book drop. And once you've found your book, you can uh, grab a nice seat here and have this amazing backdrop of an ocean view right next to you. If uh, whiskey's your thing, you can come over here to uh, Notes and they'll have tastings. And uh, there is a cost for this, uh, but you can check your uh, planner and uh, see what is available. Okay, we're going to continue with our tour, uh, heading aft on deck number two, and uh, past this uh, Rolling Stone rock room and billboard on board. It takes us to another musical venue called Lincoln Center Stage and B.B. King's Blues Club. Uh, they will alternate depending on uh, the performance that's going to be happening here. But again, another great space uh, to listen to live music. And this is a uh, two-level venue, so there is a mezzanine area. Uh, which gives you great sight lines down to the uh, show stage. Just across from Lincoln Center Stage and the B.B. King's Blues Club are the shops. Uh, some of the shops here on board Rotterdam. Uh, the shop here has uh, jewelry, watches, and uh, we're in port right now, so uh, those of you that know, the shops are closed while we're in port. And then here we have uh, perfumes and cosmetics. We're coming into the uh, atrium area on board and uh, to my left over here is the uh, atrium bar. This is where you board the ship as well so if you need a drink as soon as you come on board this is your spot and there's a stand here that will help you with uh, any questions about specialty dining and the specialty dining is incredible on board the ship. And again, we're on the second level of the atrium area. And on the opposite end of the atrium, we come to another specialty restaurant called Pinnacle Grill. This is the uh, steakhouse on board Holland America ships. And uh, I'll be coming here in a couple of nights. But a uh, very nice sort of classic look of a steakhouse uh, with a little bit of a contemporary uh, spin on it as well. But uh, beautiful colors. And uh, the preparations here are excellent, the food is excellent, and I really can't wait to come back. Nice wine wall there. Grab your selection for your dinner. A little uh, hints of uh, musical uh, notes and uh, instruments throughout the ship as well. Uh, you see it in the carpet outside the uh, staterooms as well and up here and this is the pinnacle grill here on Rotterdam we'll head back out through the atrium and continue heading aft on deck number two so this is uh, chef Rudy Sodeman's Rudy Cell de Mer restaurant uh, seafood is the main uh, choice of cuisine here and uh, really looking forward to this this evening And have a look at these plates with the food faces on them. These are also designed by Chef Rudy Sodeman. And this is where also some of the other changes have happened on board. They've added a bar here. This is the Half Moon Bar um, on other ships. This is actually a, a tasting area, which they've moved elsewhere. And uh, you can just sit here, uh, have a cocktail before dinner, because we are heading towards the main dining room. And then over here to the right, this is the Club Orange dining area. 
Uh, club Orange is an exclusive club that you can actually um, pay $25, $35 a day and it'll give you access to this exclusive dining venue, uh, some priority status on board, and uh, some other perks uh, as well throughout your voyage. And this is almost like a demonstration kitchen because it is all open in plain view, which is I actually like. A little bit of truth and honesty in cooking. Not a very big space, but uh, it's very nice, and it does have sort of that upscale specialty dining kind of uh, flavor to it. And as you can see, they definitely have that pops of orange in here, which happens to be my favorite color. And we'll continue down this corridor. This will eventually take us to the lower level of the main dining room. And uh, most of the elevator lobbies have some sort of a statue or a uh, nice uh, piece of art. And this is the entrance to the main dining room. So this is the lower level of the main dining room here on Rotterdam. Now we'll go up to the upper level. The decor up here is equally as beautiful. Actually, you get a different perspective on the uh, main lighting fixtures that are uh, seen from uh, the lower level. And check out this amazing wine tower here. All right, so that was the upper level of the main dining room uh, here aft on deck number three and we're going to continue going forward. So here we have an exit to the outside promenade here on deck three. Uh, it's a great place to go for a stroll, uh, especially when the ship is at sea. And uh, there are the lifeboats obviously on here, but uh, yeah, you're welcome to come down here when it's open. Hello. Uh, not really a spot where you can actually run. There's a lot of blind corners here and uh, some of the sections like up ahead here are pretty narrow so to actually uh, run down here wouldn't be so easy but and if you are interested in walking you can see that uh, outdoor walk around three laps is one mile and it does actually say no jogging save that for the jogging track all right we are back inside and we're going to continue to head forward here on deck number three and we're going to pass through the photo gallery so this is a spot where you can uh, order your pictures uh, you can actually do it through the kiosks or self-serve uh, you can buy camera accessories you can buy a camera itself and then there is also a portrait studio if you want to have a uh, sitting with a professional photographer, they have different backdrops and props. Uh, that's a fun little memento of your trip. And uh, here's one of the kiosks that you can use to have your, your pictures. Printed. And this area we're going to head into now where you'll see lots of whites and blues. This is the Grand Dutch Cafe here on board. And uh, this is uh, midship on deck three right near the atrium. And. Uh, they do have some food items here, uh, breakfast and at lunchtime, some snacks. The uh, food items are included, but the uh, coffees and specialty teas, those are going to be at an extra cost. But you can use your beverage package if you have one. And they've got some nice seating along the side here. And then there's a special little room that you can go into, uh, which gives you some nice views outside. And we'll head over to the other side. This is the guest relations area. And uh, once again, if you do have that uh, Club Orange, you do have a special line with a nice bright orange carpet. Uh, so you can skip the line, which there is no line right now anyway. 
but uh, these folks will be here 24 hours a day to assist you with anything that you might need. And then tucked in back here, they do have a future cruises desk, so if you're looking to plan your next cruise on board, you can definitely do that. And they do have some perks as well when you book on board your current cruise. So this is the uppermost area of the uh, atrium on board Rotterdam, deck number three. And we'll continue heading forward on deck three. And uh, this deck, like I said, has lots of access to the uh, exterior promenade uh, from many different locations. So this area here has more shops, uh, clothing, handbags, and other trinkets. And then this is the upper level, as I mentioned, of the Lincoln Center Stage and B.B. King Blues Club. So if you're not really interested maybe in dancing, you can definitely sit up here and get a great view of the stage and the performances. And the shops continue around the side here. And this is the art gallery area, which uh, looks like they might still be loading some of that art in here as well. And we're just going to go through the casino here. It's uh, not a huge casino, but it's uh, nice and it has this open space down to the uh, music walk area here. And this section over here has your table games. Located between the forward and midship elevators on Deck 7, the Neptune Lounge offers guests in Neptune and Pinnacle Suites exclusive access to a personal concierge and amenities including food and beverage items. Now we're going to head up to Deck Number 9 and uh, we'll check out the Lido Deck. And here we are forward on the Lido Deck Number 9. So we're going to have a uh, guided tour of the Thermal Suite. And uh, we'll start here with this uh, Philosotherapy Whirlpool. This is one of the nicest ones I think I've seen, and I've been on a lot of ships, especially recently. Uh, be nice once it gets the bubbles get going. Okay, so the hydrotherapy pool we do have in here, this one is a mineralized water, okay? And it's above body temperature, okay? There we go. Imagine being under that, letting that pressure just hit you. I feel relaxed already. So this is our heated lounges. Come and see so that you can try. Yeah, so it's nice and relaxing. Over here is fine. And then also like very relaxing for your tired legs, okay? Especially like after your long um, excursions outside. And, and then on this side for you in here is our infrared sauna. These are like experience showers here. And check out here, it has a bucket. Yeah. That's kind of cool. And also one of my favorite. And these have aromatherapy as well as the uh, lights to soothe you. And then over here, there is a very small, like a personal sized steam room. I think they said two or three people can go in there. There's more showers in here. And this is uh, one of the saunas as well. So this is the quick cool down bucket. You pull that chain and the cold water will hit you. We smother the seaweed all over your body up to the shoulder and then we will gently cocoon you. Now the seaweed, it will break down the toxins from skin, muscle and joints. Several of our team so this is the relaxation room. This is where you can come and just chill out before or after so your treatment. And uh, I just always say it, but I really appreciate having the ocean views. You want to know you're on a ship anywhere on board the ship. Here is the Thai herbal poultice. So we do have here uh, inside is a uh, different kinds of Chinese and Thai herbs. Okay. Amazing treatment for the man called Procolus in grooming shape. 
For India treatments, you get a double folder shape, traditional cold and cold towel, black drip, curl moustache, and an arm moustache, and I'm going to finish with a deep cleansing facial for the men. So this is the salon. They do nails, hand and feet treatments, and uh, haircuts if you have hair to cut. So we're just heading through to the fitness center here, and uh, there is a studio here that has uh, bikes for spinning class. And here we have the fitness center. Nice location here, nice views. I'm sure you'll find all your favorite machines. And then they do have some weight machines over here in the corner, as uh, well as free weights. Pretty good selection, if that's what you're looking for. And the fitness center is located deck nine forward. So from the fitness center and the greenhouse spa and salon here forward on deck nine, we're going to pass through the Lido pool area. And there is great flow on this ship, getting from area to area. And right now they do have the roof open here, which is fantastic. Get some fresh air. But this is one of my favorite spots on board any Holland America ship, but particularly the Pinnacle class ships. Throughout the day, there'll be entertainment on this giant screen here, as well as uh, movies, games, uh, concerts, and such. And it's really bright, so even with this roof open, you can get a good view. And what's nice about this area is that not only do they have places where you can lay out in the sun, you can also have your meals out here. Whether it be from the Lido Market or the Dive and Burger, or even the pizza place, which is one deck up, and we'll go check that out too. But you have just great views pretty much all over. This ship really does a great job of, of giving you that connection to the ocean, which is missing on a lot of ships today. And here is the Lido pool. It's a nice sized pool. You can definitely swim some laps in here. And then there's a trio of hot tubs up here, a little bit raised. And what's nice is if you don't want to go all the way in the pool, there is just a little bit of a shelf that you can just lay out. Just get a little cooled off without submerging yourself. And it wraps pretty much all the way around the pool. So one of my first stops when I get on board Holland America is to hit the dive-in burgers. And here's the menu. We've got the high dive, the cannonball, the gainer. That sounds good. The freestyle, skinny dip. Man, not so much. Free dive, the backflip. And then there's a couple of dog options, the dive and dog, the Dunkin' Dog, and the jackknife. And then of course, do not forget your fries with some sauces on the side. And this is the gelato area. That uh, This has an extra cost, but they do have some fantastic flavors here. Check those out. And then on the other side from gelato is the Lido Bar. A very popular spot here near the Lido Pool. And they'll mix up any concoction that you want. They have uh, draft Heineken beer and pretty much anything else. And something I think is really cool, especially if it gets kind of busy here, is they have beer on tap. You can just swipe your cart and you can pull uh, beer that uh, you want right into your own glass, self-serve. And I know a lot of cruisers get excited for these Coca-Cola freestyle machines and they are available on board, Rotterdam as well. And then on the opposite side of the pool, they have these areas where you can uh, sort of lounge a little bit more and they're separated with curtains. These are not for rent or anything, just first come, first serve and a uh, nice cozy spot. Have drinks, maybe eat, converse with some of your fellow guests. Now we're continuing to head uh, aft on deck nine, Lido deck, and this is the Lido market. Past this wine wall, 
is actually a specialty restaurant, which is kind of unique to have it inside the uh, buffet area, but this is Canaletto. This is the Italian restaurant on board, and uh, it represents a tremendous value. Uh, it's only like $23, I believe, uh, per person for pretty much all you can eat Italian dinner. And during the breakfast and lunch hours, they will use this space for overflow seating for the Lido Market buffet. Uh, but at dinner time, it's strictly uh, specialty dining only. And there's some more of that great ocean view seating along the sides here at the Lido Market. And uh, water and coffee stations. And tea. And here we've got some more baked goods. And then this is the homestead. Let's look at some nice potatoes and rice chicken, corn, this all looks fantastic. Here they have some sandwiches, which look, wow, super stuffed. They definitely are super stuffed. And leg of lamb carving station, look at that. Very nice. And again, as I mentioned earlier, at breakfast, they do serve you here, and it's pretty much been the way even before the uh, shutdown. Um, most of the items they will serve you, and they've always done it that way, which I actually really prefer. It gives control, keeps the spaces clean. Uh, here's some more uh, leg of lamb and chicken. Nice. And look at that. They even have sushi here in the Lido Market, which is complimentary. I had a great sushi dinner last night up in the uh, Nami Sushi. But uh, this looks actually really, really nice. Did I mention that you can get complimentary ice cream over here from the sweet spot inside the Lido Market? Well, you can, and I'm going to have one right now. And this is nice hard-packed ice cream here. You get some strawberry and vanilla. And uh, this is the Quenches is with a service bar for the uh, Lido Marketplace. So they can make drinks here, coffees, um, and uh, get you alcoholic drinks as well. Some good hand washing stations, which are plentiful throughout the ship. And some more seating. And there's pretty much a duplicate of a lot of this on the other side as well. But right now I'm going to take you out here to the sea view pool. This is the uh, most aft section of deck number nine. covered little pool this also has a shelf around the edge if you want to just lay out and then plenty of seating what we would call the fantail here on deck number nine Lido and that's the sea view pool here on Rotterdam and then of course this pool needs its own bar and this is the sea view bar here on deck number nine aft. And you can pretty much make you whatever you want here. Okay, we're going to take the stairs up to deck number 10. So these stairs are actually pretty cool. They're like right off the edge of the ship, uh, but protected with these uh, windbreak glasses. All right, so this uh, is a small sort of upper deck here on the uh, aft section of deck 10. Uh, they use this actually for uh, pre and uh, post drinks for the tamarind and nami sushi which is just on the inside area but you can come out here and lay out anytime you want it's another shot of the sea view pool from up here on deck 10. We're going to try to go into uh, Tamarind and Nami Sushi from the outside here. Pretty quiet right now because it's not really open. But uh, this is the bar area of Tamarind. If you show up a little early uh, for your reservation, definitely come here. They've got some amazing signature cocktails. And there's some nice seating along the side as well. And this is Deck 10 F. Again, this is a Tamarind specialty restaurant. Uh, an assortment of uh, Asian inspired dishes and uh, again very reasonable cost uh, I want to say it's around $30 per person uh, but you'll see just how much food you get and it's a great value 
See some fresh, fresh ingredients here at Nami Sushi. Sushi Chef Gerald was phenomenal. It was on point with everything that he did. And this section here will actually take you to uh, Club Howl on board. We do have this section of deck here with some shuffleboard and some more loungers. And just in case you're wondering, the shuffleboard equipment is inside this bench that clearly says Rotterdam on it. We're continuing to move forward on deck 10. This is the outside area of the Club Howl. Kids Club. And then this will take us through this entrance, which will go back into the uh, upper Lido pool area and to a great spot New York Deli and Pizza. Okay, so we're moving forward and we're going to pass through here, which is New York Pizza, New York Deli and Pizza which has fantastic items, salads, press sandwiches, and fantastic pizza. So you can come here for breakfast. They do have bagels and uh, assorted types of uh, spreads. And then for lunch, it's open for pizza, salads, and desserts. And then late night snacks, pretzels, popcorn, and so forth. And then it's making a fresh pizza right now. So we're here in the upper Lido deck, and it uh, looks like the roof has now been closed. Uh, weather does feel like it's coming in a bit. And up here, they've got these really nice uh, benches where you can sit and enjoy your pizza, more just anything else. And then they also have these beds. This is kind of like the down, uh, the lower level, but uh, these are uh, loungers that you can chill out on, which is great. And if you like the people watch, this is a pretty good spot to do it. And up here on deck 10, they also have some ping pong with the view. Here on deck 10, just forward of the Lido, upper Lido uh, pool area, um, these are just state rooms. There's no more public spaces. So why don't we just walk you through the um, other side of the upper Lido. Uh, there are some other things, uh, points of interest for me to uh, show you. It's another ping pong table on this side. And there's that trio of hot tubs again. And then right now we're actually heading aft again on deck number 10. It's going to pass through the panorama bar. So this would be your bar service up here on deck 10. If you want to grab something uh, while you're eating your pizza or deli sandwich. So this is aft on deck 11 and this is the sun deck. Uh, it's a nice wide open space uh, for you to lay out here. I'm not seeing much in the way of shade right here. Um, probably it's too windy for them to put out umbrellas. But if you're a full sun uh, person, this is a great spot and it's a little more private. Um, and it's just overlooking the uh, lower decks 10, those two sort of terrace decks, as well as the uh, sea view pool down there on deck number nine aft. And just around the corner from the sun deck, you do have the sun bar, which uh, sometimes this is only open in the evenings um, or sea days when there's people up here. So we're going to continue to head forward on deck number 11 and past the iconic All of America funnel with the logo on there. And as we continue to go forward on deck 11, we pass the sports court. It's all netted here, so the balls actually stay in the court. But yeah, this is a really good size area to play. Um, and you could do more than just play basketball here. It's quite wide. And they got some seating along the side, so if you don't want to participate, but watch your family member play or just watch some of the ball action, you can definitely do that. I always love coming up here, you know, playing basketball with the views all around. It's uh, something special about that. 
They do have these kind of outside exercise uh, equipment pieces. Uh, you see this on quite a few ships now. And then all around here you have the jogging track. And that is the retractable roof for Lido below, which as I said, it is now fully closed because it looks like some rain is coming in, unfortunately. It's been a very breezy day. And in fact, it took them quite a bit of time to uh, even dock here in Bimini today. It's a very narrow channel. In fact, I saw one of the uh, channel markers has been knocked over. So definitely very, very narrow. So the jogging track does wrap around the entire um, roof enclosure for the pool below and just in case you're keeping track of the numbers here they are for the jogging track 12 laps around here is one mile and then up here these are the cabanas that are in the retreat and those are available for rent okay we're here on uh, deck 12 forward and uh, this is the explorations uh, central and cafe so you have a really fantastic forward-facing view here. Right now we are docked in Bimini. Hello, it's okay. And uh, you can book your shore excursions here. You can talk to a specialist about the areas that you're in. But the uh, nice thing about this area here is they've got this cafe. And uh, this is an upcharge here for coffee. So if you're on a beverage package, you can use it here. And uh, they'll pretty much make whatever you like. And if you want to speak to a, a person, a specialist, they do have the shore excursions desk here at Exploration Central. But have a look at that view. You're not seeing many of these types of lounges on board cruise ships anymore. A lot of it's been taken for premium space. So when you do see it, it's uh, really, really nice. So on deck 12, just aft of the uh, Forward Explorations Cafe, you do have the retreat. This is an upcharge area that has these private cabanas that you can rent. And uh, they are facing the water on this side. And then there's some that face uh, over the uh, retractable roof for the Lido pool area. It's a nice space. It has a hot tub for the area and uh, nice furnishings. Uh, you will get fantastic uh, service to the cabanas as well. And you can also dine out here as well. There is uh, food that can be brought to this area. So this uh, part of uh, the front of the ship, this is actually deck 14 forward. Um, you don't really see this on the ship's deck plan so much. Really, it's just a uh, area with some sun chairs. So I guess it's a, a forward-facing sun deck, if you will. Uh, but it is open to uh, guests. So if you're looking for a more private spot, this is definitely it. Thank you for coming along on this walking tour of Holland America's brand new Rotterdam. Don't forget to like this video, post your comments and questions, hit that notification bell, and subscribe for more Talking Cruise.